Now, Britain switches on an electrifying journey in its zero carbon pledge and just shifted gears. It granted the Indian owners of Jaguar Land Rover a whopping 500 million pounds in incentives and subsidies to stay in the United Kingdom. British finance chief and the mastermind behind this move is Jeremy Hunt. He's determined to keep UK's largest car maker on home turf. They are not letting Jaguar Land Rover hit the brakes and shift their manufacturing to Spain, which has been tempting battery makers with top-notch incentives to boost its solar power investments. Now, Tata Motors is about to hit the accelerator and set up a gigafactory that will produce batteries for JLR's cars and in Somerset. But high energy costs to run a large factory was a cause for concern. This jump start is not only revving up job opportunities in the UK, but also putting more taxes in the exchequer's tank, fueling one of Britain's most lucrative industries. But it isn't just the Tatars who have reached out to the government for incentives. Other major players like Stellantis and Ford have also hit the brakes and voiced concerns about the UK's sky-high energy costs. They're eyeing other blocks in the European Union where the road seems smoother and more attractive for car manufacturers. Now, Spain seems to be a favoured one and among a few of other automakers. It rem remains to be seen if the UK will offer other manufacturers such lucrative deals to drive growth in its automotive industry. But for now, Tata Motors investors seem to be happy with the announcement. The stock of the car maker surged over 2% on the Indian stock exchanges where it is listed.